guys welcome back to the vlog today is monday august 19th and i am starting a week in my life but i kind of wanted to do a week in my life this week that focuses on how i create content but i also am a full-time working nurse practitioner so we just got back in town from chattanooga we were in chattanooga this weekend for my brother-in-law's baptism just to see my in-laws see some friends that i have up there i went to college in chattanooga so i have um, some people, so I have some people very close to my heart up there. So we spent the weekend there from Thursday night to Sunday night. We just got back in last night, very, very late. And so I'm getting a little bit of a late start to my day because I slept in, but today is my last day off for the week. And then I work Tuesday through Friday. So I have a lot of stuff on my list. It is probably like 9 30 right now. Yeah, it's 9 30 and, um, I just finished breakfast and I'm sipping on my matcha and I have just been creating a little to-do list for today because if I don't have stuff written down, I will not remember that I have to do it. So on my list of things to do today is I have a call at 1130. I have another call at two o'clock. So I'm kind of basically scheduling my day around those calls because I have stuff I need to get in between, need to get done in between. So. I definitely want to work out. I thought about maybe doing um, a yoga six class. I have a membership to yoga six where I go four days a month. But if I'm being completely honest, like one of the teachers that I don't really love is teaching today. I was thinking about going to the 5:30 class, and she's teaching this afternoon, and she's just not my favorite. So I don't know if I want to go. So that's still a possibility. I have a bunch of laundry I need to get done. I need a grocery shop, but I also need to film a piece of content for EHP labs. You guys know I work with them. The e I'm an, an EHP athlete, so I have some content I need to film today for them because they're just now launching in Walmart. So um, I need to film that, edit it, and then I need to send it to the girl, my contact there because it needs to be approved. So I think I might need to post it. I don't know if I need to post it today or not. I'm not sure. I need to get on that. <laughs> and then, um, I also would love, love, love to sit down and start editing some videos that I have filmed for the new Nurse Practitioner Survival Guide. I am behind what I would like to be on that. I would really like to have it done probably in the next couple of months, but it is a lot to do. So for the most part right now, I have all of the videos written out that I want to film and all of the information that I want to be in the videos but I need to sit down and film those videos. So I have one video filmed. I need to edit that video. I have not done that yet and just kind of see how it comes together. Um, and that's kind of all of the, the like work for the survival guide. But then I need to figure out how I'm going to, like what platform I'm gonna put this survival guide on so that people can access it and have access to the videos um, forever, like once they purchase it. So that's gonna be like another thing that I have to figure out that I'm planning on doing once I'm done with the content. But anyway, that has proven to be a, a little bit more than I thought it was gonna be. So I would really love to work on that today if I can, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna to get to it. I also am filming this YouTube video today, so I need to make sure that I'm getting enough content clips and then I need to film some, a TikTok for today as well. So I always post a TikTok every single day. I do not have a set schedule of like what I post, what I post, unless it's sponsored, like paid content. Um, so I really just kind of do what I'm feeling for that day. So today I'm probably going to do like a little day in my life off. I'm not really sure. I filmed some me like putting together my breakfast, making my matcha this morning. So we'll see what it turns into. I would love to film like, um, like a grocery haul or like a meal prep for this week, all that type of stuff. But that's everything that I have on my roster to do today <laughs> before the work week starts. So enough talking, let's get into the video. I think first I'm going to hit the laundry. Also, I'm filming this on my phone camera right now because I have one memory card for my vlog camera and it's in my husband's work bag and he is not at the house. So we're gonna be doing it old school style today. I have to have something on in the background, like when I'm at my house, whether that is music, or a podcast, but right now I've been really into kind of fall moody vibes. So I think I'm gonna put on Pretty Little Wires just as I get some stuff done in the house. We 
are headed to the grocery store. I'm just gonna go to Publix, which is close to my house. There's literally a million Publixes in Florida, but I'm just gonna run there, grab my groceries, and then come back for my call at 11.30, and then probably go to the gym after that. But I made a list of all of the groceries that I need, and we're gonna knock that out of the way. store this is the haul i went to publix because it's the closest one to me but i do prefer to go to trader joe's just because one it's cheaper this was almost 200 dollars, which is kind of crazy there's not that much food here and at trader joe's i can probably get all of this for 130 with the exception of a few things that i'll point out to you I got some strawberries. I got three pints of blueberries because I want to make a blueberry syrup for my matcha. I've been really preferring a blueberry syrup over a strawberry syrup, so I want to make that. Three avocados, some noodles for a minute. I was looking for soba noodles because I wanted to make like a cucumber soba noodle bowl, but I couldn't find them, so I got these rice noodles, two cucumbers. These are dog bones. They're bone marrow bones that we give to the dogs probably like every other night or something like that. Two things of Impossible Burger just to have on hand. I got some non bread lettuce. This is something I didn't plan on buying, but it just looked really good just to have like as a simple meal with rice and maybe like broccoli or just something easy. Radishes, cashew milk. This is something that I can't get at Whole Foods. So I am absolutely obsessed with this stuff. I use it in my matcha every morning. Oat milk for Seth. I got a few little like kitchen, sorry, not kitchen, bathroom things that we needed. I got some vegan mayo because I'm going to make like a spicy mayo tofu bowl. And then a bunch of silk Greek yogurts. These I also cannot get from Trader Joe's. They are my favorite vegan protein yogurts. Uh, they have 10 grams of protein, which is not a ton, but it is better than most um, vegan yogurts that have zero. So got that. Some dill for salad, sesame seeds, taco seasoning, eggs for the dogs. A bunch of poppies. My favorite poppies right now are the Doc Pop and the Coca Cola ones. Um, a red cabbage, some granola bars, spinach, and some granola. And that is the haul. I have to put all this stuff away now and get ready for my call because it is 11 14. A little update and I have a friend beside me who is panting a lot. If you can hear him, just be mindful. It's hot outside. <laughs> very mindful very classy um anyway so very busy i went to the gym had a great leg day and then i had a meeting at two o'clock it was with um a youtube partners meeting or not a, a youtube shorts partners meeting because i'm part of like the shorts creator community so i jumped on that and then i ran to walmart because i had to film my content so that is filmed now needs to be edited but it is currently i want to say it's like 3 30 yeah it's 3 20 right now I desperately need to eat lunch. I'm so hungry. I'm just letting like the boys potty and stuff outside before we go back in. And then I don't know what I'm gonna whip up. I'll whip up something with you guys really quickly. Maybe, mm, I can make like a chickpea, ooh, like a chickpea tuna salad on, oh, that sounds so good. Chickpea tuna salad on a piece of bread. That sounds so yummy. I have vegan mayo. Hopefully I have some mustard I can make, put some red onions in there. I'm gonna watch Pretty Little Liars. I'm gonna switch over the laundry. But I wanted to share something super exciting with you guys from my meeting that I had this morning. I, You guys know I keep it super transparent on here. So you know really everything that happens when it happens because I share it. Like, you know, I'm not really interested in like the whole wait and see, which I probably should be as a creator that kind of creates like, you know, hype. But anyway, it was for a job um, with an aesthetics company and it went really well uh, this was my second interview with them and it was with their main injector and then the other people that i had been interviewing with and it went really well they want me to make a final decision by a couple of weeks but i'm going to spend next friday and saturday with the injector um, the main injector and see how i really like it and if it's really something i want to do and probably it wouldn't be full time for now. They do have a current branch that I would be working at that has clientele, but it would be growing that clientele. So I'm, I'd be excited about that, but I would stay part time as a primary care for a while 
and honestly I might stay part-time in primary care at least one day a week just to keep my skills up for a long time so I don't know these are like things that I'm throwing out it's just it's all new I don't know if I'm going to like it next week but I assume that I probably am because I love doing aesthetics so we'll see but like big things coming exciting content and I'm still gonna be working on my you know guide to the new nurse practitioner like everything is still gonna go as planned but you guys would see more different content like you would still see your family medicine content because I would still be practicing in family medicine but you would also see Bubba <laughs> but you would also see some aesthetics content which would be really cool so I don't know we'll see how that goes and yeah let's make some lunch Taking a little work break. Yeah. Oh boy. You gonna pull it? Oh, he's so strong. Lunch was so good. I spent a little bit of time outside and edited my um, TikTok for EHP Labs. Now I'm just gonna do a voiceover, add some wording in, look at their content brief, and honestly, I'm watching Pretty Little Liars while I do it. These two make it so difficult to work from home. Literally, I don't know how you guys do it with dogs. Before I do any type of voiceover, I kind of like to write out what I'm doing if it's sponsored. If it's not sponsored, it's not like that. But I have a little brief that I need to go over and include like what, basically this is the content brief and it's stuff that you have to mention. So like there's key points that they want, all that stuff. So I'm gonna go through, write out my, um, voiceover and then I'll record it. Really the rest of my day is going to include editing so I got that video edited and I sent it in whatever now I have to edit a video that I'm posting to TikTok today. I want to edit one that I filmed just for the chickpea recipe that I also created just so I can have something like already edited and in my drafts for a day that maybe I don't have anything and then I think I'm gonna have time to film another video for the new NP survival guide so that's exciting but all in a day's work so when people say that content creation is not hard yes it is not hard it is just time consuming as you guys can tell from today threw myself together did some makeup and i'm about to film the second video the new grad in peace survival guide and yeah i like to wear scrubs when i'm on it because i want to you know scrub girly so i'm gonna sit down and film that when do i start applying for jobs and let's not rush anything okay so say you're a couple of months out from graduating Getting ready, going about my day, 
And I gotta pick up the vlog camera so I can show you guys contrast between my MP work days and my homework days. So it is 7.55 right now, according to my phone. I made a blueberry matcha this morning. Yesterday evening after I made dinner, I also made a little blueberry syrup because I made strawberry syrup. And for some reason, my strawberry syrup is coming out weird. I don't know, like it's, I don't think I'm putting enough sugar in it. I think that's the problem, but anyway, um, there's that. And then got ready and I'm about to leave for work. I usually try to get to work a little bit earlier on like my first day back of the week when I have this long stretch. So essentially Tuesdays, I try to get to work early every other Tuesday because my inbox is much more full. But like next Monday when I work and I've only been off for two days, my inbox is not bad. So I do that. I have my workout clothes packed and we'll hopefully get in a little lunch workout this is the start of just like my regular work day i'm in a surprisingly decent mood i will say usually if i'm being completely honest i'm in a very bad mood on tuesday mornings taking my copa calm just to help support some healthy um anxiety levels today also i see that my camera is dying so hopefully we'll get enough clips today and then i'm going to listen to the toast on my way to work today i love the toast if any of you guys need a good podcast it's a daily podcast two sisters they are hilarious they talk about pop culture it like i love it so this is very strange but it is like 11 30 i think it's 11 22 right now and I'm finished with my morning patients. My last one was a procedure that they booked wrong and it was it was a, a skin tag removal and I did cryotherapy on it. They booked me for 45 minutes instead of, honestly I could have done them 15. Um, but yeah, they booked me wrong so I got out of <laughs> for lunch early. And so I'm headed to my house right now because I, um, forgot that my house cleaners were coming today. I left my dogs inside. I didn't leave a check. I'm like, she texted me and she's like, are the dogs gonna be, be okay? Cause we usually leave them outside when she comes cause they're kind of scared of dogs. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I can't keep anything straight just with like the kitchen people in and out. And she doesn't usually come on Tuesdays. And then this being my first Tuesday back, I'm just like, I'm just off if I'm being honest. but. Anyway, I'm gonna run to my house. It actually worked out perfectly because I have a call at one that I need to jump on, but, um, and that will cut into like my gym time. So it worked out perfectly because I also forgot my lunch and my breakfast at home. <laughs> Today has just been crazy. So I'm running home, I'm gonna write her a check, pick up my lunch, make sure the dogs are like fed and inside and whatever needs to happen. And then we're gonna head to the gym, get in a quick workout, do my call at one, go back to work for the afternoon. It's so funny, I have a, so technically we're not supposed to see new patients past five o'clock, but I swear to God, once a week, I have a new patient booked at 6 p.m. And it's because patients can book online. Like my, they haven't taken off that um, availability to book online, which makes me so mad because first of all, you shouldn't be seeing new patients at 6 p.m. Because a new patient, even though your visit is scheduled for 30 minutes, it takes at least an hour. And most of the time, they're not coming 15 minutes early like they're supposed to. And my office, to be honest, is really bad about no-show policies. They do not enforce them. It makes me so mad. So anyway, and then in the notes for booking, it was like next plan on removal and wants to talk about other um, birth control options. I'm like, I'm not doing that at 6 p.m. So they need to come in earlier. So anyway they're coming in earlier it's just it's way too much to establish a patient and then to remove an explan on and if they want another next one on I don't have another next one on to replace it with lunch is just leftovers from yesterday evening rice some pickled cucumbers tofu and like a spicy mayo to top it. it's so good doing my meeting right now. It is one o'clock, so I'm just waiting for them to jump on. 
so I actually just picked up a grande non-dairy cold brew with non-dairy cold foam from Starbucks I've been back on slightly on my coffee game I don't have it every day I don't even have it once a week honestly but I finished my meeting I like wrapped up everything and I was like I don't want to go back to work until two o'clock when my patients start so I was like mm, let me just go pick up the coffee um so there was that my meeting went really well I just have some emails I need to review this is actually so nice for me to have this time during my lunch break to like be uh, working out is great like I will never complain about that and I'm, I'm not complaining about it but it's also nice to have like some extra time to have like my full lunch break so like to have extra time because then I can do social media work in between so like right now I have a few emails I want to respond to I do have a management team who does a lot of my emails but sometimes I do um, collaborations without my management team just because when you when you work with the management team you're also paying them um, a part of your contract so mine is like 10% so my manager gets 10% of whatever money I make from a contract so sometimes if people reach out to me like via my regular email and not my social media email I will um, message them back if I feel that it's appropriate and just work with them directly instead of going through my manager but I'm gonna take just a little bit of time to scroll through my emails I'm actually gonna get my video ready and edited to be done this evening so I don't have to work on it tonight and I can just post it and then head back to work at 2 all right it is 7 10 we are home I'm making a soba noodle soba noodle salad for dinner tonight um, that has like a tofu topping so just frying up the tofu I actually need to add some of the rice noodles to that boiling water this is the finished project I feel like the recipe needs a little bit of work so I'm not gonna like post it or anything but I will tweak it and hopefully it'll come out better next time. It's post shower, I was just recording something. I like to record like a day ahead of time if I can for TikTok. That way I can go lay in bed right now, edit this and have it ready to post tomorrow night because I post once a day. And so tonight I filmed like an evening vlog and that's just kind of a hack. I also forgot to show you guys, but usually like right after dinner, I'll sit down and post and I post everything to TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram Reels. I used to just post on TikTok, but my managers was like, were like, hey, you need to repurpose this information. So I did that. I think this would actually be kind of a fun clip. So I just started recording that. But anyway, so it is now, I wanna say it's probably 9, 9.15. I'm gonna lay down in bed. I wanna watch another episode of Emily in Paris. I started it last night. I have been relatively unimpressed. I feel like they have created this whole Alfie and Gabrielle or Gabrielle drama for so long that I no longer care. Like it doesn't matter. Like she should have picked one, stayed with one and not had anything to do with the other. Like I'm over it. I don't care anymore. And I hate this thing that Netflix is doing about like just posting like half of a season. I hate that. It's not like stop. <laughs> stop Netflix. But anyway, that's kind of like a day in my life working as a nurse practitioner and then also doing social media. Anyway, they just kind of get busy, but it's totally fine. I'm really like super blessed to live the life that I live and have the opportunities that I have and have social media as like a backup and like be making extra money off of that as a side hustle. So I am really like super grateful for that. I'm super grateful for you guys for watching these videos. I am going to end this vlog here. So thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. If you have any like vlog ideas, anything that you want me to talk about or film, feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye guys.